All right, Gary and World Series winner. Let's talk about it. The opening day betting favorites to win the Dodgers remain the favorites, but everything else looks a lot different since before the season started. So what do you think? Yeah, I think there's decent odds on Tampa Bay, as I talked about, especially if you think they're going to come back and win the American League East, then they get to avoid that wild card game, which is incredibly important. Um, but I would say right now, my favorite bet would be the Milwaukee Brewers at 13 to one um, Milwaukee. While they're not a team you look at in a roster, you look at and say, yeah, these guys are going to beat the Dodgers or they're going to win the world series. When you're talking about teams that can kind of come out of nowhere and win a world series and go on a playoff run, it's a little bit like a hot goaltender in the NHL playoffs. You need pitching. I think back to like the 2016 Cleveland Indians where, you know, they weren't the best team offensively, but they essentially just rode Corey Kluber and a couple other pitchers, Carlos Carrasco, all the way to the World Series. The Brewers can do that. They have arguably the three three of the five best starting pitchers in the National League and Brandon Woodruff, Freddie Peralta, and Corbin Burns. If you get into a five-game or a seven-game series with the Brewers, you're going to probably have a disadvantage at pitcher in more than half the games you play. And then they've got two studs in the back end of the bullpen in Devin Williams and Josh Hader. In the playoffs, it's an entirely different ball game. You can start taxing these guys. You could have a scenario where something like 80% or probably more 70% of Milwaukee's playoff innings are thrown by those five guys. And all five of those guys are elite pitchers. So I think the Brewers have the sort of like roster manipulation capabilities where they could definitely go on a run and exceed expectations.